very, very tempted about this. I'm I got the jacket. <laughs> she thinks she thinks that we look like her. Hello everybody, how are we all? I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to my channel and to a shopping vlog. I'm very excited about this one. I'm actually not, in, well, I'm kind of technically in London. I'm in a place called Ashford, which I think is Kent. Um, I'm here to do a job on Instagram, but I thought I would film on YouTube as well. So I'm gonna have a day at Ashford Designer Outlet, which is a whole retail outlet for discounted prices for designer labels, which is brilliant. So I'm gonna to vlog today, take you around the stores and show you everything that's here. So I have been here before and I've been very kindly invited down. Like I say, I'm doing a bit of a job on Instagram. Um, but yeah, I thought it would be really nice to have a look in the stores and see what there is. There are some huge designer labels here. From Tommy Hilfiger, Ralph Lauren and everything in between. June, Gant. So I'm very excited. So I need to um, head in. It's quite cold today, so I've got a lot of layers on. I've seen wearing my poppy, Remembrance Day. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna vlog as and when. Alone, kind of misty. Waiting now for you to come. It's cold again. So I've just popped into Gant, the first store I visited. I love Gant, um, and I've tried this like navy half zip sweater, and it's really nice. It's quite flattering. Um, it's made of merino wool, so it's really soft. And um, yeah, I really like this. I think especially with the outfit I've got, it's quite navy. But yeah, I really like that. I think I'm, um, I think I'm gonna make this my first purchase. I've also got a couple of extra things to try into. I have this lovely 100% wool, like Aran knit sweater, and then a raw neck as well, with um, the Gantt logo on print on the front. So I'm gonna try these on too, and show you, but so far, it's a very successful first item, and it's in the sale too. So this is knitwear piece number two. I do have something quite similar to this, however, this is a slightly larger um, like fit, and it feels a lot more warm. Um, so yeah, the one I have, I've had it for years, and this just feels such lovely quality. Again, it's in the sale. Um, I love it. <laughs> Gosh, I don't know whether I need two pieces of knitwear, but this is very nice. So this is item number three. I do like this. I don't love it. I, I think it's very nice. I think the um, the Gant logo might be slightly too large for my taste, but it does feel lovely quality as well. I've just checked the actual materials of this and it's super fine lamb's wool, which makes sense why it feels so soft. So yeah, really, really love this. This one I'm definitely taking. So I just made my first purchase in Gant. However, they um, popped in a Hobbs bag, which is fine. I went for the lamb's wool half zip and I put the like chunky crew neck back. But I might go and get that later on. I'm gonna have a look around and then make my final purchase because it was very lovely. I just don't wanna jump the gun too much, you know? So um, yeah, I'm gonna have a look around some other shops. I might have a look at some homeware ones. They have a Le Creuset here a Denby and also um, a homeware brand that I'm not quite familiar with, so we can go and take a look at that. Oh, there's also Ralph Lauren too. Every time I pop in Ralph Lauren, I see this gorgeous teddy bear sweater, and I love it. It's so nice, classic Ralph, it's lovely. They also have some lovely pajamas too, some nice tartan ones. These feel lovely quality. Not too bad, 42, I think they're 100% wool, gorgeous. There's that teddy bear jumper again, it's really lovely. I love the way they style in Ralph Lauren. The layers, layered all over the colors, it's gorgeous. That jacket's really nice too. I think that's this one here. It's a bit like vintage with like the pleather. Very lovely, 600 pounds. <laughs> Slightly out of budget, but very, very nice. You all know I'm a fan of Denby, so I'm gonna have a look in and see what they've got going on. I love their cookware and pants, let's have a look. coffee cups and this gorgeous like got lovely gloss fab little egg cups of them too they're really nice I think they're 
starting from 1050. I think my nanny used to have something quite similar to this. It's such a classic Denby colour. So I've just popped into a store that I love called Moss Bros. It's, a, it's more like a men's tailor and suit, but they also do some everyday wear. And I've just tried on this jacket. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a double breasted, um, like a brown jacket. It fits me like a glove. Obviously, that's done up, and then that's just slightly more relaxed. But with double breasted, I always do button it up just because I feel like it hangs slightly odd but um, yeah I love this very very nice I'm not too sure on the colour just because I have quite brown hair um, and I'd wear it with a smart shirt potentially a raw neck but yeah I do like it I just think it might be a bit too brown for me it's nice though I've just tried on some trousers in Moss Bros these are gorgeous they're like a chocolate oatmeal brown colour and um, I just love this type of material they're in a wool mix as well so nice and warm I'm trying to shop for the season they're gorgeous, really, really nice. I might see if they have a slightly larger size. They fit me around the waist, but this is the issue I have a larger leg, so yeah, really like this though. So I've just tried these on in a 32, and these fit so much nicer. So that's a pair of trousers successfully purchased. So I've just popped into Barber. I have loved Barber for years and years, and they have an outlet store at Ashford. So I'm trying this on. It's the waxed, it's a completely waterproof wax, like an olive green jacket with the tie wrap, something I've wanted for years and years, and it is in the sale. Usually I think these are around £280, and this is down to 140 I just love it, it's obviously got the lining in the collar, the Barber International in the pocket. I am very, very happy with this. I also have a like chocolate brown one to try too, but it's perfect because you can layer this, but obviously for dog walking purposes, it's absolutely spot on. So I'm very, very tempted about this. I'm gonna try the other one and show you guys. So I've just tried on the second option and this is also very nice. It's slightly longer in length, which would be more practical. However, I'm not as keen on the shape of it. I think it's more of a, like a looser fit and like traditional style barber, which is lovely. But um, I think I prefer the slightly more tailored version of this with the tie belt. So um, this is really nice. And again, it's got the classic barber lining but I am obsessed like ugh, I think I'm gonna do it guys very very happy so I may have just made possibly my most exciting purchase of the year minus Maggie of course I got the jacket I've honestly wanted a barber jacket for years and my brother had one and to be honest he might still have it he probably would have handed it down to me but there's something about Barber that's just so magic and the brand is just fab so um, yeah I'm really really happy with it so I'm feeling very very lucky. Uh, behind me is a pro cook store which you know I love and um, it's full of food and like cookware and things like that so I thought I'd take a look in there. It's amazing McCarthy Glen outlets are fab because there's a whole host of beauty, fashion, lifestyle, food, everything in between so let's go have a look. I do love Denby but I think pro cook's range is slightly nicer and in my opinion a lot more affordable. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm very, very pro, pro cook, if that's a word. We have this oil decanter and you can put balsamic in it, it's fab. These are really fun, I have a couple of these in my kitchen cupboards and they're just nice to serve chips in, it's, you know, or churros. I have these cylindrical ones, they're six pounds. They're just a nice serving alternative. I also really like this crystal jug, it's two litres, it's 22 pounds, it's not bad. They also have a cheese set as well, which I thought was quite nice, like a cheese board with two servers for $14.99, that's not bad at all. They have some great Dutch oven sets of casserole dishes as well, these obviously rival Little Cruiser, but for the price, you get a set of three for $169, which I think is brilliant. I love the red, they also have them in white and green. So after all of that shopping and walking around, I've only had a croissant and a coffee all day, so I'm quite hungry and it's now half past one. So I'm gonna head into the newly opened Five Guys here and get myself a burger, well, a veggie burger and some fries and maybe a milkshake so I'm quite hungry. And then I think I'm gonna head because I've been here for quite a while and it's quite nippy. Um, definitely should have worn gloves, but yeah, I'm gonna head on in and get some food. So I've ordered a veggie sandwich and some spicy fries and I thought I'd treat myself because it's a nice special day out and having a salted caramel Five Guys milkshake, which in my opinion is the best milkshake of all time ever. I'm probably gonna have dinner quite late on, so I thought I'd get something to fill me up, let's give it a try. I always get the spicy fries whenever I come to Five Guys because they are so good. I only got a small one though just because, you know, I'm on my own. And then a 
giant veggie sandwich with cheese and extra meal and ketchup and pickles. So I have finished up lunch and it's actually gotten quite chilly so I'm gonna head back to the station and it takes me about an hour and 20 minutes to get back to London. You can get the fast train but I've got some work to do so I'm gonna get the next available one and then I'm gonna show you the bits and bobs that I picked up. I'm so happy. I can feel a bit of a cold coming on as well. I feel quite nasally so um, I think it's gonna be best if I head back and get inside the warm and just cozy up for the afternoon. So um, yeah, I'll show you the bits and bobs I've got when I get home. So I'm back home. <laughs> Do you think she thinks that we look like her? She's like, oh my god, you're like me! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's the label! Stop it! <laughs> Maggie, calm down! So I'm back, I'm back from the um, designer right now. I didn't film. It's such calm and tranquility. Oh my god, I, f I feel really ill. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm gonna show you what I got in the border when I'm feeling slightly better. I've just swung by. To god, I look. I got lemon and vegetable soup from Tesco. I am writing myself off this evening. I think being outside for a lot of hours has not done me the world of good. Anyway, I'm back home to these little stinkers. I got oh Zara. my socks! <laughs> I got Zara a um, fleece from, where is it from? Mountain Warehouse. Yes. I'm and I'm wearing a fleece as well because fleeces are life when you own a dog. Maggie, you've got your fleece on. Look! Look at that little fleece. She doesn't like mine. No, she's not keen on your fleece. She likes, she's like, mm, you're a bit too soft. This you was... feel like polyester. <laughs> this was Zara's request that I could grab her one, so um, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I've never owned a fleece before getting a dog, but walking the dog with a fleece, oh, it just keeps you sore, and it keeps your neck warm. I did think the other day when I was walking the dog, when I've got a big coat on, I'm like, somebody, I don't know, stole me and unlayered me. They'd be like, what on earth is this girl? I go around with penguins. Wait, let me show you socks. No, no, so usually I have my wellies on, so I have my <laughs> penguin socks. Under this usually is my glitter socks. <laughs> then I have leggings. But now you've got your fleece. In. Oh yeah, I guess. You're, you're in like, um... You don't want to see what's under that. Either. Oh gosh, Maggie! Oh, you've gone wild. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> right, I'm going to wrap this and I'll show you guys what I got in the morning when I'm hopefully more alive and not looking so swollen. And the stars so it's the next day and I promised that I'd show you what I got in the designer outlet. I am very, very congested today and I'm not exactly feeling 100%. So bear with me. Maggie's currently sniffing my camera. Maggie! So everything I got, I will link down below if it's available at that store. Obviously it's an outlet, so it's kind of the bits that are available on the day. And I also thought I'd show you some Christmas advent calendars as well, because I've been sent to, and I think you'll love them. The first thing are these trousers. Now I did show these when I tried them on in Moss Bros. These are like a nice wool brown mix. And I thought these would be perfect for the upcoming trip to Venice, because obviously we're going in January, it's going to be really, really cold. So I thought they'd be really nice to just wear with like a nice overcoat and a shirt. They're slightly smarter. They're um, double pleated on the front. And I just think they're really, really nice. Like a classic brown trouser. Obviously I wouldn't wear them with the shirt. I've got on it's a lot of brown. But really happy with those. They were £60, but I think they had 10% off in store as well, so they were 50 Very happy with those. Obviously I did try them on in store so you can get an idea of what they look like. Now the next thing I really really love this thing it's such a solid purchase so this was from gant and it's the lambs i think it's a lambs wool super fine lambs wool um zip through so it's in this lovely navy color and i got this actually in a small might be sniffing the bags and um, i got this in a small just because i quite like these to be fitted especially when i layer them with a shirt underneath so yeah it's a lovely blue color again i tried this on but i actually did purchase this just because i love it and i think it is a very very nice Good quality materials. This again was 75, but they had 10% off in store, so I got it for 67.50, if that's right. <laughs> um, but yeah, really, really happy with that. And then, last but not least, I did it. I actually did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. I got the barber jacket. As I said, I've um, I've really loved barber for many years, and I think the quality is amazing. This is a waxed barber jacket, and when I actually took it to the till, the sales assistant said that you get a year's warranty with all barber jackets. So if for any reason there's a manufacturing issue, they will either fix it or replace it for you, which I think is a really good um, like brand offering. So it has the button detail on the sleeves, so you can cinch the sleeves in. Obviously, I really wanted one with a belt, so it has the belt around the waist. I'm gonna try this on just to quickly show you. And then it has the um, collar detail as well. So it, it just feels really sturdy. Um, and then it has the cord 
lining and because barb has been around for so long has the mark from the queen herself by appointment of the duke of edinburgh her majesty the queen and the prince of wales so they've had prince philip who's no longer with us queen elizabeth herself and their son charles all accredit their court of arms to barber so i mean that just shows how much heritage there are there is with this brand sorry so um yeah i'll quickly try this on I thought I'd quickly wrap up this video with some advent calendar options as well because I've been very kindly sent two this year. Two very different ones. I thought I'd start with this one first. So this is from Packed Coffee. So obviously traditionally advent calendars are chocolate or some kind of sweet treat. However, in recent years they've kind of changed them up so if you're not a chocolate fan you can do something different. And this is a coffee advent calendar which features 25 different coffees. Obviously the 25 days lead up to Christmas which it's very needed because obviously, you know, Christmas is a very busy time of the year, so you need your caffeine. Um, so they're all labelled in obviously chronological order. I think we'll have to show you. So it has day one on the top, and then it has the name of the coffee. And then on the back, it features all of the information about the coffee. So the roast, the acidity, the process, and um, how you're supposed to brew it. So I just think it's absolutely lovely, a really nice gift. I'll leave this link down below. I'm very excited to be using this this year because I think, yeah, chocolate, obviously chocolate almond candles are lovely, but something different, and I love packed coffee. I've worked with them before, and they are such a fantastic brand. They source their coffee ethically, they roast it beautifully, and it just tastes delicious. And last but not least, I can't not feature this, which is very kindly sent over from Next. It's the Next Men's 24 Day Grooming Calendar. Now, I love me a grooming calendar. I had one last year, and these are fantastic. They're slightly more premium in price, However, you do get a lot in there. So look at the size of those products. I mean, they're huge. So you've got your 24, I think it's 24 days, yeah. So on day 24, I haven't opened any of this, by the way. Maybe I should, um, do you know what? I'll do day one, just as a demonstration if I can find it. Oh, there we go. So there's day one. So they wrap all of the products up. So you get a lot for your money, and the brands are really premium as well. So this is Elemis Deep Cleanse, Facial, facial wash, sorry, the Elemis is a really good brand, and they're good because they're 50 mil as well, so perfect travel size now that we're actually allowed to travel again. So um, yeah, I guess I kind of know what day one is now, but that's fine. So yeah, really handy to travel, really good to just pack in like your wash bag if you go to the gym. I'll leave these linked down below as well. I think they're still available online, and um, if not, I'll link some alternatives too, but yeah. Thank you very much, Next. I thought I'd feature that. It's getting me very excited for Christmas. Right, I'm going to wrap up this video. It's been quite a long one, but I really hope you've enjoyed having a look around Ashford. Sorry about my nasal sniffing. I've got another honey and lemon tea here. And that's a little squeak from Maggie to say farewell to. And another one for good measure. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe. And I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Bye for now.